The Somalia government, together with UN agencies working in the country, have recognized female aid workers as part of World Humanitarian Day. Government officials and international agencies have also called for respect and safety of aid workers as Somalia battles security challenges. Here is Michael Karanja with more on that story. For close to three decades now, Somalia has been in turmoil. The ouster of President Mohamed Said Barre was followed by a period of conflict that has since mutated into an insurgency with Al-Shabaab pushing to establish a strict Islamic Sharia law. As many continue losing their lives, more are displaced. We are here today to celebrate Female aid workers continue being part of teams responding to situations and are now being recognized and celebrated. As a government, we salute the women working in the humanitarian sector and acknowledge that they have fundamental challenges such as insecurity, patriarchal attitudes and harassment on a daily basis. They face tremendous challenges on the ground. I'm convinced that we need to use a platform to address these real changes for women in the field. As they respond to man-made calamities and those occasioned by climate change, they're exposed to dangers. UNICEF's representative in the country is asking that these aid workers be respected and protected. Evidence shows that when women are involved in humanitarian action, including at the decision-making level and at the leadership levels, the humanitarian response is more effective and especially also more inclusive. This is why many humanitarian organizations, including the UN and NGOs, are striving to achieve gender parity across the organizations. Veteran Somali humanitarian worker Aisha Shaur was nominated as Somalia's Humanitarian Person of the Year. She has been involved in championing the rights of women and children by pushing for gender equality. Another honored worker is Amina Haji, who is the founder of Save Somalia Women and Children. The organization aids victims of gender-based violence. To be a female aid worker in Somalia means a lot. It's an opportunity, risks and challenges. It's an opportunity to reach out to, to women, children, elderly affected by disaster and respond to their needs. Today, like today, it is a bright light even amongst um, uh, the people we have lost this year, unfortunately, to say we're still grateful and we're going to keep the charge going and our light will not uh, dim until we can work with every beneficiary so they're able to live their lives completely. The World Humanitarian Day is celebrated on 19th August. It is meant to honor humanitarian efforts while advocating for the safety and security of humanitarian aid workers. The date was selected in honor of the 22 UN workers who were killed in a terrorist attack in Baghdad on 19th August 2003. Michael Karanja, CGTN.